Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. We are on the Raid Shadow Legends test server, and I wanted to do a quick little showcase here of Theodore the Savant. Uh, I've seen a lot of other content creators have already done videos on this guy. I wanted to do a quick one myself though, throwing him into my teams and seeing what a difference he makes. This is probably, for a lot of people, the most wanted champion in the game right now. Uh, the things he can do in dungeons is, is just, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, and the potential for optimizing and making even faster teams is nuts. So what does he do? His A1 is an AOE attack with a 30 bucks a 50% chance of placing decreased speed. That's kind of nice, obviously. AOE decreased speed. It's Krisk's A1, essentially. Uh, Savant Savvy is a 2-3 turn cooldown. 75 bucks to 100% chance of placing two poison debuffs and a poison sensitivity debuff on all enemies for two turns. Also places increased speed on all allies for two turns. Then his A3 Chemistry, 3 turn cooldown, increases the duration of all poison debuffs and HP burn debuffs on all enemies by 1 turn, then instantly activates any poisons and HP burn debuffs on each enemy, places a 25% weakened debuff for 2 turns on enemies not under poison or HP burn. Uh, I, I really underestimated this when I first read it. I was just seeing it as, okay, he ups all the poisons, then he activates all the poisons one tick. That's pretty cool. I, of course, wasn't thinking about the fact that this is basically a Sissia A2 with an AoE HP burn activation. So we're going to see him in the spider's den. He's going to be nuts. Then he also has a passive fumigator. Champion's resistance increased by 5 for each poison debuff on the enemy team. He brings a 50 accuracy in all battles aura. Not the best aura, but it's uh, it's it's an aura, and it's better than nothing. So, there you go. Look, how have I built him? He's not fully optimized, but I basically put him in my best solo gear, right? I went into my account, I put on as much, as much of my good regen and immortal gear as I could, and he comes out looking like this, about 250 speed, 72k HP, 2.2k defense. This is maybe a little bit low. Then he has 420 resistance, maybe a bit too high, seeing as his passive gives him resistance, and 290 accuracy, which is too high. Uh, he doesn't need crit rate or crit damage. He just needs lots of health and defense, speed, enough accuracy, enough resistance, but it's quite forgiving. And in terms of mastery, he went over this way. I've got him more resistance over here, more resistance here, and all the standard stuff. Basically what I did, I copied Dark Kale, and we're going to put him in place of Dark Kale in a lot of these teams. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's dive in. Let's check out some of these teams. So first of all, stage 25 of Ice Golem's Lair. Let's go in. Let's see how this works. So the advantage Dark Kale has here is that Dark Kale um, in this team, he, with his passive, prevents the Ice Golem from critting him. It seems to me to be a little bit sketchier with Theodore, but he's a he's actually survived every test run I've done so far. But as you can see with this team, I've showcased this team before on the channel just using Dark Kale instead of Theodore, uh, or Theodore, once I pulled... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the really fun one where we're using... Uh, uh, what's, I can't even remember her name, Gerda. We're using Gerda alongside Calvalax, which is really fun. So we get to the boss and the boss basically kills everyone. And then we can see Theodore just gonna start popping off exploding those poisons and bam 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 the boss is dead in 38 seconds what is this it's absolute that's the fastest time it's just madness basically what happens basically what happens here is a snowball effect where he ba he starts lending out these poisons and then he starts just exploding them and then if he can get back to his a2 a3 before those poisons have expired he increases the number of poisons and then he explodes them again but this time it does twice as much damage it's the snowball effect it's absolutely nuts we come into dragons there 25 and this is actually well look it, theodore versus dark kale on stage 25 ice golem with dark kale and the ice golem run by the way we do it in around about 50 seconds to one minute so theodore is noticeably faster we come over here to dragon and watch what he's doing here the nice thing about this is that dark kale is the wrong affinity so dark kale can make these not quite work sometimes this run would go wrong for me but we bring in theodore uh and we just get through the waves, absolutely no problem. He's going to start laying this stuff out. This can go a little bit differently, of course, because Ellen Arles, the wrong affinity. She does the poison explosion all the same. One downside with Theodore is that increased speed does mean that Calvalax gets a turn, which wastes a little bit of time. But as you can see right now, he's just going to start popping off again. 
I actually think that we should probably turn off Eleanor's combust in case she's trying to do it, because again, it's going to slow down that Theodore just ramping up of speed. But again, 47 seconds, we've ripped through uh, faster than my version of this team with Dark Kale significantly faster and also much more consistent because affinity is better but then i said you know i feel like i threw him in like this i said well wait a second this isn't even his final form it's not even his final form let's get some like one or two star here we go let's put in a bunch of incubi incubuses incubis i don't know but let's go in here and he can solo this thing as well. He starts laying out poisons. He explodes them a little bit. He's coming back around to his turn. And because he's giving himself increased speed and he's landing that decreased speed, it's helping him to build up those poisons more and more. You see, he does take a good bit of damage. He's laying out more poisons, exploding it, landing that decreased speed. Here we go. He's back around to more poisons and he's exploding it. And then he's laying out more poisons, exploding. It's just, it's just the snowball that just starts going. He's actually landed the weekend this time. That's kind of funny. All right, cool. Here he goes. Hopefully he gets going soon. There are some poisons out there. This is somewhat scarier, but it should still not be too bad. Again, because of the increase speed, decrease speed, he's sort of keeping ahead. He's laying out more. He's starting to ramp up again, guys. Here we go. Not too bad. I believe that I've seen content creators do this with like a perfectly built and speed tuned speed tuned guy, and they can do it in like 40 to 50 seconds, which is crazy. As you can see here against the dragon, again, this is just a question now of starting to build up these buffs. We're starting to get him down. The dragon is starting to melt. He's just hes just a machine gun. He's an actual machine gun of poison. It's actually crazy. Um, it is actually crazy. A little bit of luck obviously involved, but there we go. One minute, and he soloed the damn thing just like that, which was really nuts. Again, no change with the previous comp. And yeah <laughs> like i feel with the gear i've put him in i think he needs this this particular sort of gear to survive against ice golem so to actually like rip through ice golem that quickly i think if you put him in like super uh dragon speed run design gear that he would fall he's actually much better this time his abilities have lined up well but i think if you you know super tuned his gear to speed run dragon as quickly as possible with the you know yeah, the minimum stats, as it were. I, I think he couldn't do the Ice Golem stuff. But here we go. We can see, again, he's ripping through. He's healing himself up. He's extending these. Pop, and there we go. And he just just explodes here. Once he gets going, he just really gets going. And again, the dragon. The thing about the dragon is the dragon itself just dies so, so fast. Every single time his mastery procs, that will potentially extend his poisons. That's where things really get good. Because then he can explode them again. And that's what really makes him insane. But, uh, yeah, here we go. It's going to be slightly faster this time. Um, yeah, you, you could probably improve this, like I said. But, I mean, a one-minute run of Dragon 25, it's just, it's just, it's just mad. That's, that's the honest truth. It's just mad. Now, I did test him out. I did test him out in place of, uh, in place of Dark Kale for Fire Knight. And this was, this one was worse. He's not as good here. The reason being that Dark Kale has a triple hitter A1. Um, which helps you knock down that Fire Knight shield and get on top of it. Theodore only has single hitters. So, yeah, with this exact team, which I've showcased before, but with Dark Hail in here, the Dark Hail version of this team is actually better. So this is one area where Theodore was not better. Although, I don't know, I, I feel like there probably are some setups you could put in there that would make it work. Like maybe two Theodores. In, and I don't know. There's definitely something there, but I'm just not sure what it is. But, uh, yeah. Then we come to Spider 25. And I said, okay, forget about the poison explosion. What about we just focus on the HP explosion? So we put him in here to basically fill in for my Sissia. Instead of Sissia, we have Theodore in here. I had to make one change to this team. I had to speed up my Mordecai to make Mordecai faster than Theodore. But here we go. We come in here. You're going to see exactly how this one works. We come in. Uh, turn one is going to be an A1 from Kaimar. Then Mordecai is going to burn. Theodore is going to activate those burns. Look at that. We're going to freeze with Achak, Heartseeker in here. Then we reset. We do it all again. Burns. Activate the burns. And then Cold Heart should come in with the Heartseeker. There we go. And beautiful. Actually, my fastest time. 17 seconds. The recording luck is with us today. This is great. Fastest time. Uh, th the reason this is slightly faster is that Sissia actually does some damage to the enemies. Uh, but Theodore will not. He won't do any real damage to the spiders. He'll put... Uh, 
Yeah, he's not even going to put any poisons out because you're not going to allow him to do the poisons. He's just going to activate the burn twice and that's it. And boom, 17 second run. Again, you could probably make this faster with better champions. I think I've seen people get it down to 10 seconds, which is crazy. Uh, it certainly is worth doing for fun, but let me tell you, 17 seconds, you're going to be able to rip through. Uh, unless you're buying energy, you're buying gems, you're going to be able to rip through all of your gems, all of your energy, pretty much as fast as you can get it. Uh, you're never going to be stuck going, man, I wish I could spend these energy and gems faster. So, yeah, there you go. It's just crazy. Like, this champion is just absolutely insane. He's just absolutely insane. Absolutely busted. Like I said, this is how I built a mate with high speed, regen set, lots of HP. I, I, I think there are other ways. I tried not to watch... Uh, I watched a couple of the other content creator vids uh, when it first came out, like last week. Uh, but I've tried not to watch them just to, to come in and give you just my more of somewhat of a raw take on it. Like just my take from, from playing him out. But I'm just beyond impressed. I know I've seen people saying, will we get a guaranteed Theodore? I don't think we're going to get a guaranteed Theodore. I think this guy's too strong. I think he is the best champion for basically all the dungeons now in the game. I, I literally think he's probably the best. Um, he's without question the best champion in the game for Dragon Slayer. Uh, he's he's just ridiculous. So I I don't think they'll do a guaranteed on him. I, I, like I said, I think he's too good. Maybe you might see him in the token trader. I think they've said in an interview they're going to update this. He might show up in a token trader. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I expect him to show up in lots of 10x events. And then, you know, try try scam me out of your shards. But. Yeah, Theodore, for me, is pretty much... He's a 10 out of 10 champion, this guy. He's just insane. Uh, he's even going to be... He's, he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay even against the Hydra. He's not going to be bad. Because he is going to give you AoE weaken against anyone that doesn't have this. Uh, he's going to give you AoE decreased speed. He gives your team increased speed. So he's actually phenomenal against... Hi Will we throw together... Let's throw together a quick team. Let's throw together a quick team. All right, so let me throw in this team. Very similar to stuff I've shown you guys in the past. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my Whisper built up here on the test server, so we're going to throw in a Ninja instead, and that should, I think, work just fine. Let me just double check so you can see their stats and stuff like that. Yeah, so Ninja is geared. That's fine. We've got a Boro to Mischief Tank, all that sort of stuff. I think this should be grand. Right, let's throw it in. Let's just leave it full auto and see what happens. But Theodore, in this circumstance, should still be really, really good, uh, even just filling in here, which is insane. He, he can poison some of the heads. Not all of the heads can be poisoned, but a lot of them can, as you see. So the head of Blight, for example, is vulnerable to poison. The head of Torment is vulnerable to poison. We are going to struggle with the head of uh, What's-His-Face, the head of What's-His-Face coming in, and he's going to be cleansing. We don't have a Provoke on this team. Haven't set it up. Uh, it is what it is. He throws out the A we weaken. That's not super useful, but hey, it's better than no weaken, I suppose. So we'll just sort of let that one go. Uh, one thing I will do here is take it off auto for just one sec, and we get poisons out from her as well. So a nice combo with Mithrala. I do want to just make sure that Aboro steals these buffs, because that would be pretty bad. He's also going to come in and bring us a uh, decreased speed, a fairly consistent source of decreased speed. Let's just steal these, and then let's hit auto again. Great. Uh, and again, at this point, we should be pretty good. Um, and and yeah, I mean, basically what he's going to do for us is <laughs> he's going to keep exploding the burns that Sissia and Ninja throw out, which is fantastic. He's going to be laying poisons on some of these heads, which again is also kind of fantastic. Uh, actually, we can target this head over here. Try kill off Decay. He's the real problem head for us. Let's try to get rid of him. Here we go. Flame Eruption. We got these debuffs on. Uh, yeah, he's actually going to do really good job, uh, really good damage exploding this stuff. But hey, if you're looking for an increased speed, decreased speed champion, don't forget, like, that's the thing here. I always talk about how rare those champions... Oh, we're actually going to get wrecked. <laughs> this team is clearly not designed for this rotation. That's a bummer. Um, I'm not too worried about building up a specific team, though. But, like, if you look at the team I put together recently with Nekmothar uh, on the live servers, um, you put Nekmothar into this sort of setup as well, uh, or, or Nekmothar is giving you that increased speed, decreased speed. Now, we're not as consistent with the decreased speed here. And Nekmothar is also bringing us decreased attack. He's bringing us leech. Like, Nekmothar is better in this circumstance. But um, Theodore is going to do a lot of that as well. And also bringing you either a supplemental weaken or a bit of extra explosion damage. Uh, this team, as I said, it's clearly having some troubles. This team is not super smooth or super clean. Uh, we actually look like we stabilized. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fit into your teams just 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 fine. 
Like, he is absolutely going to do it. I think what we need is, like, a block buffs against Head of Wrath. He's going to absolutely wreck us now when he gets a turn in a second. Um, but, yeah, he, he just does a fantastic job of it. It's actually really good. It's really useful. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just triggering Wrath really fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, cool. Well, you get the gist. If we click free... No, if we click end battle, uh, we can see... It's not really going to show up that he's doing much damage because he's not in this sense but he is again contributing that increased speed decrease speed and then he's going to be activating the burns which is going to credit the damage to ninja or Sissia, and he's going to be exploding poisons and also again the poisons can be very useful against some of these heads can actually be very very useful so yeah not the best showcase right there but i just wanted to throw it out there uh, i don't think he's a, a hydra specialist per se He's definitely not a Hydra Specialist because that poison stuff is not super crazy useful. However, he's a very good champion to slap into your, your Hydra run. He absolutely is. Very worthwhile to slap in because you're going to have him built 100%. So any newer player that grabs this guy and builds him up, you're going to be able to put him into a Hydra team and he's going he's gonna to excel. He is absolutely going to excel for you. Um, so... That's pretty damn good. Look, guys, there we go. Quick look here at Theodore the Savant. I want to just get it out before the test server closed. I wanted to have a video on this guy because he's just that OP. But um, yeah, definitely pretty much my... <laughs> he's kind of jumped up to be one of my most wanted champions, if not my most wanted. I mean, I still really want things like a Sifi, you know, and all that, but and a Duchess. But man, Theodore, Theodore is... He's, he's way up there. This guy is absolutely insane deserves every single bit of the hype this guy is nuts he's probably going to be insane ripping through doom tower waves as well doom tower bosses yeah this guy is like the best champ they've added in a long time thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed see you soon Bye bye